you dug your heels into the business when plenty of others in mm. your shoes have decided to pack up in the face of the competition from the streaming services such as Netflix? Well, we love our business. Um, we've, you know, we've got a, we've got say 25,000 films here um, and people, our community love this shop and um, no one wants to see us go, but uh, support has waned in the last couple of years. So, um, you know, we've taken to that's social media, as you say, to get people back in the store and support the business. How many loyal customers would you say you have? Oh, we, we have um, probably 1,000 or so, like loyal customers who have sort of stuck with us and come in regularly or more, maybe more. And so do they talk about why yeah. they mm. still opt to watch films and TV series on DVDs? And I do want to ask, do you have VHSs there as yeah. well? Uh, no, just DVD and Blu-ray. Okay. No so, VHS. So why, why do they continue to <laughs> yeah. watch on DVD and mm. Blu-ray yeah. instead of choosing anything they mm. want to at their mm. fingertips from home? Yeah. Well, um, they can choose. There's more more choice here um, for a lot of them. So they like to come in. They like to browse. Um, yeah, yeah. They can you know they can really find something different that they haven't seen before, and they have a chat to us and. It's, um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. And people put more value on the film if they've actually spent time choosing it. Oh, no, and you've got a customer over, calling you now. Press... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do you... timing. <laughs> so, so you've got a selection of hard-to-find films? Yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah, I... we do. And yeah. do you... Do you... I, I'm... I have been thinking about this through the day. Do you yeah. think your business can survive when DVD players, Blu-ray players, mm. they're not as easy to buy as they once used to be, yeah. are they? No, they're not as easy, but you can still buy them from, you know, like the major retailers, and they're quite cheap to buy as well. Do you hire them there? We do, yes. Yeah, yeah. amazing. Okay, and so yeah. do you think people are going to return to films and, for instance, video stores might become yeah. much more popular in other areas in years to come, in much the same way that we're seeing a rekindled mm. yeah. love in yeah. the music business with vinyl? Yeah, I'd like to think so. Um, I'm not sure, but I'd like to think so. We're going to try anyway. And um, we've got friends who have video stores in Bellington and, and Melbourne, and they're doing the same. So, um, yeah, but we're, we're all giving it a go. How much time are you going to give yourself to mull over whether you're going to stick it out for a bit longer? Um, it's hard to say. Um, probably up to the end of the year, I would say, maybe. Okay. Now, yeah, out of those... We're in, a, we're in a unique position here. Like, we own our premises, so we're not... Um, we don't have to worry so much about um, leasing and landlords and everything like that. So that's, you know, it's a feather in our cap to do that too. Out of all those films and TV series mm. that you have behind you, do you have a favourite? Um, Old Henry is one of my favourites at the moment, <laughs> which is a nice little western. Um, I won't give it away, but it's, it's worth watching it if you can go and see it.